local restaurant owner is attacked and hurt by a homeless man, and now his customers are stepping up to help him. They fear for his safety and theirs. They're raising money to show their support and improve security. CBS 2's Rachel Kim has his story. 61-year-old Modesto Navarro has been blending up healthy juices at Velarde's Fruits Restaurant for 30 years. When he became owner 15 years ago, he made it his mission to nourish not only the bodies of those in the Boyle Heights community, but also their hearts. You come in and it feels like you're going home to grandma and grandpa's house. He knows how your family's doing. Um, he's very generous with his food servings. Crystal Haro is a longtime customer, and she's now speaking out for Mr. Navarro after he was physically attacked by a homeless man who had been harassing customers inside the restaurant Friday afternoon. The man got angry when Navarro asked him to leave. The homeless man grabbed a napkin dispenser and was waiting for him right outside the business entrance. And when Mr. Navarro exited the business to make sure he was gone, the homeless man ambushed him and with full force through the metal napkin dispenser at his face. Despite suffering a broken nose and two black eyes, Navarro was back at work the next day. When he expressed this to me, I was very distraught and moved. So Haro decided to organize a fundraising campaign to help Navarro with medical expenses and buy a security system for his business, which has served many generations in Boyle Heights. The community comes together and shows Mr. Navarro you are supported, you are loved, you are not alone. Just like his name suggests, Modesto Navarro is modest and unassuming, working with his injuries, grateful for any support. Haro says local leaders need to do more to stop attacks like this from happening. We are in danger, and it's not okay. It's not okay for the homeless to suffer, and it's not okay for citizens to be affected by this violence. As for the man who attacked Mr. Navarro, he ran away, but police were able to track him down and take him into custody. Meantime, other business owners and customers in this area tell us they're now being extra vigilant. Reporting in Boyle Heights, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.